All right, guys, I got to tell you about something that just happened that proves my point about exactly how much size impacts the value of real estate. In this case, $6,000 straight out of the homeowner's pocket. I get a call from an experienced real estate broker wanting me to go measure a house and wouldn't tell me any details up front. I'm like, that's smart. I agree with that. I'd rather work like that. I go over and measure this house. I come up with 2,388 square feet. Turns out the guy that measured this house before as when it was new construction, it was just completed, he hired a local measurement service to go out and measure it. They came up with 2,390 square feet. Guys, that's two square feet. You know, it doesn't get any closer than that when you're measuring square footage. If they could all be like that, we'd be in good shape. But this case, they had a VA appraiser to go out, you know, and when I think of a VA appraiser, you know, we're talking about an experienced veteran appraiser that knows this process really well. Well, they came up with 2304 on their square footage. So as they're looking over this appraisal, you know, the only difference, they basically use the same comps. So the only difference in this appraisal was the square footage and it called for a tide water. It made the appraisal $6,000 below the contract. And let me tell you what the seller had to do. This is, it's actually like three weeks before Christmas right now. This seller already has a contract on another house. He's got small kids. So they're trying to move, get in a new house and get set up to have Christmas in their new house. And they're stressed out. What do they do? They sign a contract to sell the house for $6,000 less because the bank first off gave them a choice, said this is what our VA appraiser says and this is what we're going with, take it or leave it. That was so nice of them. Anyway, this guy didn't have a choice. He sells the house for $6,000 less. Well, it ends up it kept bothering that listing agent, so he called me and Anyway, it comes to find out that really the whole point of this is that the difference in this appraisal for that $6,000 was attributed to nothing but the square footage total. This VA appraiser did not count the square footage of the staircase on the second floor, and they also didn't count the exterior walls on the second floor. Now, if you're going to measure the first level and count the width, you know, you're going to measure from the exterior walls, you got to do the same thing from the second level. That's just, it's common sense, I thought, but it's evidently not. The difference in this appraisal was just the square footage because the VA appraiser didn't count the stairs on the second level and the exterior walls on the second level like ANSI prescribes. So obviously this appraiser doesn't use ANSI and they didn't disclose in the report any measurement method or standard that they use. So it turns out that that appraiser reached in and took $6,000 away from that seller and this is, you know, in this industry, we talk all about consumer protection. And guys, until we have an industry-wide measurement standard that's mandatory, we don't have consumer protection. We're cheating homeowners every day all across the country. In this case, I mean, it's perfect. It proves my point. This seller lost $6,000 due to square footage because that VA appraiser didn't measure it the same as another appraiser and a person that has a home measurement specialist certification. A lot of experience in here and we don't measure the same and that's a problem. If our industry is going to get better, we need one nationally mandated measurement standard and then every agent, appraiser, assessor, architect, builder, Everybody needs to measure the same way. If we're going to improve consumer protection, we've all got to get on the same page for measuring square footage.